know Congress has about two days to avoid a government shutdown. They have until midnight Saturday to come up with a spending plan, and analysts aren't sure that they'll make one in time. ABC's Liz, Liz Landers has more from Washington. Congress barreling towards a government shutdown as time continues to run out to strike a deal. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is now negotiating with Senate Republicans and Democrats to add border provisions to the Senate's own stopgap funding measure to keep the government open. I've talked this morning to some Democratic senators over there that are more aligned with what we want to do. They want to do something about the border. One of the loudest voices blocking McCarthy from passing a short-term spending bill is far-right Florida Congressman Matt Gates, And those tensions reportedly boiled over in a closed-door meeting with the Speaker. My frustration is that we're $33 trillion in debt, running $2 trillion annual deficits with no real end in sight. That's my frustration. Congressional Democrats on the offense criticizing the GOP for holding an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden just two days before the government shuts down, pointing out the financial pain a closure would cost Republican constituents. In Chairman Comer's district, Republicans shut down will cost 8,937 of his constituents their paychecks. In Jim Jordan's district, Republicans shut down will cost 3,939 of his constituents their paychecks. And millions of federal workers could potentially lose pay, a prospect that is already worrying military families like the Kerrigs, who have a daughter with health issues. The question has really become, what can we get rid of? Who can we borrow money from in order to do what we need to keep her alive? We are American workers and we want to do our job. It's good Congress that's locking us out of our job. We want to go do our job. Speaker McCarthy telling reporters that he has still not spoken with President Biden about funding the government. The White House says that House Republicans will get full blame for a government shutdown. On Capitol Hill, Liz Landers, ABC News.